Hey friends, how are you? I hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm going to be making a platypus. So let's get started. The first thing that we'll want to do is make a shape that's called a kidney bean shape. It's shaped like a kidney bean and it's a little bit tricky. So you'll want to watch closely and you might even want to practice this a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a curved line, come down, come back up, go in and then close up our line. All right. So we start out with a curve. We come around, we curve around again, and we come in a little bit like this. That's a, called a kidney bean shape. All right. So this is going to be our platypus's head. And this is going to be the area where our, where our platypus's tail is going to go. And he's going to be on his back. He's going to be playing on his back. So let's make some eyes for a platypus. Going to be nice dark eyes. Make this one a little bit bigger to match this one. For our platypus's bill, we make a line that looks like this. So we start low, we curve up, we come around, we come down and we stop. That's going to be the platypus's bill. And if you'd like to look at a picture of a real platypus, ask your parents to show you a, a picture maybe online, make sure you get their permission and you can see what their bill looks like. It's a very interesting looking uh, nose. Okay. And then we have a curved line coming up and then we have two nostrils so he can breathe. I'm going to come around and make another line to double that first one up. All right. So what we're going to do is make his, his arms coming in, his arms and his hands. So we make a curved line and some fingers and then we close up like that. Come down three lines and we come in like this and then we finish it up with a curved line and another curved line. All right, for his back feet, we're going to come up and we're going to make his toes and then come in and then this one's going to stick out a little bit this way. It's almost like he's playing on his back. And then we're going to make curved lines like this. For his tail, they have really long and flat tails. So we come out, we come around and we come back in. If I had more paper, if I, if my design wasn't going to go off the paper, I maybe even make this a little bit longer. All right, for the background, I'm going to make him in the water. So I'm going to make some waves, maybe coming out this way. So it looks like he's resting in the water. And so maybe I'll put some more wavy lines here that can re represent water. And then up in the sky, maybe I'll make some clouds. You'd like to make something different like a sun or a moon you can go ahead and do that alrighty friends I hope you like this lesson I'll see you next time